everybody loves a um, medical breakthrough. What exactly happened here? Well, well, right. Um, you know, it's a great, it's a great upbeat story at a time when news isn't always so upbeat these days. And um, uh, some researchers, as you said, at St. Jude uh, uh, Research Hospital, uh, came up with a a very uh, unique and new way to um, to uh, treat. Uh, Kids, uh, almost entirely boys, who have uh, who have this immune deficiency. Uh, now, this is something that was tried uh, with some success 20 years ago or so uh, by some companies and some research institutes in in Europe. Uh, but those children uh, back then always developed leukemia. Now, with a new kind of system that uh, that St. Jude and a company uh, that is licensing the technology hopes to use, uh, leukemia is 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 no longer a worry. Um, I'm looking at the chart of Mustang Bio right. in my Bloomberg here, which was involved in um, the treatment for this disease, shares up more than 180% right now, more than 200% after hours. Right. Um, you know, these, these young boys have already been released from their isolation. So, uh, you know, at this point, this seems to be fail safe. What does this mean for this company and, and for the industry? Well, I mean, obviously, it's it's very promising for for the company. Um, the thing to remember is, uh, you know, the the news today is based on the results of uh, uh, of six, uh, excuse me, of eight very successful treatment results uh, of uh, uh, of kids that were treated by um, by St. Jude. Now, uh, the company is is planning on doing additional. Uh, research and testing uh, in the hopes of uh, getting fairly speedy FDA approval. Now, whether that's going to happen or not or how long it's going to take is still to be determined, of course. But that said, uh, you know, the, the results are extremely positive. Uh, the company is, is extremely enthusiastic that, 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 this will, that this will have a good result for them in terms of FDA approval.